Hey YouTube, this is Carson XTM45 here, and I am getting ready to make my ingots for 2016. It is August, and the last part of August, collecting my wheel weights. What you're looking at is nine buckets, nine five gallon buckets. There's a few of them that are not completely full, uh, the ones in the back are full, and that's what I'm going to be making my ingots out of for this year. So. Uh, the next process, I'm going to do something different I've done in years past. I'm going to separate all these buckets. That way I'm not wasting my time and energy and propane uh, trying to heat up a bunch of zinc and steel and a bunch of garbage. Um, that way I can save some time. Plus I've got somebody here in town who will pay me 28 cents a pound for wheel weights. So we're going to separate them out and take all the lead out and go sell the rest of them and make us some money. So probably be a couple of weeks before I actually start doing some casting or uh, making the ingots ingots I'll get back with you then hey back again just wanted to real quick uh, show my setup for separating out this lit this uh, lead from the wheel weights uh, kind of discouraging this is my trash this is the zinc and the iron and garbage and that is the lead over there I, ha I am working this is my fourth uh, bucket that I'm going to be working on alright and it's just I'm not getting a whole lot of lead out of these things but this is fine uh, like I said I got a guy that will pay me 28 cents a pound for wheel weights and so we're going to get these all done I've still got uh, five buckets sitting over there now one of those buckets is full of battery connection ends and so I'll, I won't have to separate those so I've only got four buckets to separate and I'll probably end up just spacing that out probably the next week or so uh, getting ready to make my ingots here in a few weeks when I take a day off but uh, I'll be back in a minute okay here we go five days later after several hours I have all my wheel weights separated uh, I ended up with three and a half buckets of lead and then I've got a oh two thirds of a bucket of the battery connectors I've also got some of the roofing material the pure lead I've got that in the backyard and I'll get that out here closer to when I make my ingots I uh, started off with eight buckets of wheel weights and that one bucket of the battery connector so I went through eight buckets I have three and a half buckets there and then I've got uh, basically four just about almost four full buckets of the scrap I'll take this scrap to uh, like I said I've got a guy in town that'll pay me some money for this uh, this scrap and so we'll make some money be able to buy the propane uh, put a little change in my pocket so uh, onward we go towards making our ingots for this year hey YouTube here we go this is uh, oh it's been a couple weeks later it's a Friday morning took some time off and we're gonna get these wheel weights and everything melted down uh, this is 2016 September the 4th and so this we're just about to get started just about to light that fire get this pot going same setup as last time you look at my other videos uh, you'll uh, you'll see how I do this I'm not going to go through this thing step by step uh, I did come up with a, another bucket had a customer had a half a bucket uh, the, those wheel weights were not sorted uh, but the rest of these are all sorted and so this is what I come up with after those uh, basically I had 10 buckets of wheel weights and I've separated them out and I came up with four and a half buckets of wheel weights that are actually lead the rest of them were zinc and, and steel I've got some roofing material then I've also got some battery connectors down there so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to melt down the battery connectors and the roofing material first and make the pure lead ingots and then we'll get over to the uh, uh, the wheel weight lead I always try to keep that separate but anyway now I'm going to show you step by step just kind of show you the setup and then see how long it takes me it is about eight o'clock in the morning hopefully I have all this done by lunch hopefully and we'll see how it goes uh, give a report right at the very end and we'll see what our our total number of ingots and pounds and everything is so anyway just a quick note wanted to kind of show you the setup here I've got fans to blow the whatever fumes or anything might be coming off of this but the main reason for the little fan right there is these uh, these wheel weights since they're all separated and that's lead 
I'm going through these buckets really fast, probably twice as fast as what I normally would. Um, I've only got these three buckets left after that, actually about two and a half. Uh, it's just going really fast. Uh, the thing is, is my muffin tin can't keep up, uh, so I'm trying to use that fan to cool it down faster so I can pop those ingots out and reload it again. So um, I guess one of the advantages of separa separating out all the wheel weights and the steel. So making progress, I've got uh, my ingots counted up that are the pure lead. Those are stacked right there. Ended up with 48 ingots, ingots of pure lead. I've got my whole pile right here. Uh, we're working on our second to last bucket. It's half empty. And then we just got this small bucket right here. Um, and separating those blue weights out, like I said, uh, and melting them faster than my, my little muffin tin can keep up. So I got the fan sitting right there and it's blowing it, I'm trying to cool that thing down as fast as possible. So looks like I'm on track to possibly be done by 2.30, which means I would have spent about six and a half hours. Uh, that's a lot better than 13 hours the last time I did this. So anyway, uh, give you an update. Well, we're done. There we go. Uh, it took me about half the amount of time that it did last year, the year before. I really like this. I probably took me a little over six hours uh, to get all this done. The 48 on the on the right hand side there that are stacked up, those are the those are the ones that are the uh, pure lead. Uh, so I kept I keep those separate. And then here's all of the ingots for the wheel weights. So there's 263 of the regular ingots and then you got 48 of the ones that are pure lead uh, comes out to 311 uh, total ingots you multiply that by average weight of two and a half pounds a piece uh, 777 pounds so that's not bad I'm gonna clean everything up and get started on another, a next, another project so I think next year I'm only, I only do this once a year I think next year I'll do the same thing I'll take the time uh, to separate out all the wheel weights and all of the zinc and so forth. Uh, it does make it a lot easier. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, I'll probably end up having to buy me another pan, so I'll have two pans uh, to be to pour them out in instead of just one. Uh, that really held me back today because I, I had to pour out one pan even with a little fan on there and I still had to uh, I had to wait for them to solidify. So I think uh, next year when I do this uh, get two pans and should work out pretty good. Anyway, appreciate you watching.